You underestimate my power. What is going on, everyone? All Star Wars all here with another action figure video, and today we have on the left Lando Calrissian from the Kenner Collection line, Power of the Force, from Episode Six, Return of the Jedi, from the Jabba's Palace scene, and on the right we have Episode Six, Gamorrean Guard, from the Jabba's Palace scene as well. And we're gonna start out with the Lando Calrissian. And go over his package, unbox him, give him a review, and then we'll go to the Gamorrean Guard. And I picked these two guys up because just to fill in some more empty spots in my original trilogy section on my shelf. And so let's look at the package of the Orlando. So it's from the, the Kenner collection line, as you can see there. And the Power of the Force, and it has the uh, freeze frame action slide thing, but I don't have a projector or a slide projector, so I'm, we're not going to be looking at that, but that's cool. And um, on the bottom, very right, it says Collection 1. So, Lando Carrizian as Skiff Guard with Skiff Guard Force Pike, which is cool. So, this is his outfit and everything from the Return of the Jedi Jabba's Palace scene. And I'm excited for this guy, because I don't have a Lando yet from my original trilogy section. Right there, it's giving that nice image of Lando and Leia, and it... Uh, for you can cut out that for that little image right there. Um, more of the basic stuff. This is 1997 Kenner. Some more of the other figures from this line right there. And his, his little quick character description for this figure. Right there. So that's cool. And then another Star Wars image right there. So I'm really excited for this. Unbox this guy. So I'll come back when he is all unboxed. So here's the Lando all out of package, and now let's do a close-up on him and look over his movements and everything. So that's, in my opinion, very, very accurate. His The face sculpt and how everything looks is very nice. Um, he stands up fairly easy. Didn't really have to reposition him or move his legs too much. But um, I really like it. The shoulder and his outfit and everything looks super identical. Um, there's his feet and everything. Kenner. He can stand on a stand. You see the little feet pegs, or the feet thing. So, bam, there he is on a stand. Easily stand him if you have trouble standing him on his own. But you shouldn't. I mean, he's super easy to stand. But, um, basically, his head doesn't turn too well when his helmet's on. But this is a really cool helmet, I think. So, it's kind of not difficult, but it's, it's kind of weird taking on and off. The inside, as you can see has like those like things on the inside so it like fits his head perfectly and stays on and so you don't have to worry about it falling on or off or anything so it's very nice so then there's a close-up on his face really very accurate um that's awesome so and to show how accurate it is i'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side image of lando from this action figure and from the actual movie because this is an awesome face sculpt it looks this just looks awesome so there's the lando so like of course the head movement like, like i said it's hard to move but he does just move left and right no up and down or anything and then just the arms and then the legs just move forward and all the way forward practically and a little bit back but yeah, I'm really a fan of this Lando. I really like that. That's awesome. So, I really, really like this Lando. So, I'm not... I know in the movie, he holds uh, his little... This force pike with both hands. but So, it's because it's not highly articulated. Or just, it's not that well articulated. I only got him holding it with one. So, and I just picked his right hand. But yeah, there's that Lando. Really nice detail overall. An awesome figure. That's an awesome, awesome figure. So, now let's move on to the uh, Gamorrean Guard. Let's uh, move the Lando off to the side here. The same with this package. And now let's do the Gamorrean Guard. So, a little bit of bent on the package, but it's no big deal because I'm unboxing them. So, this is uh, Collection 2, as you can see there. Um, 
Power of the Force, Gamorrean Guard, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi from Jabba's Palace scene. So, he comes with a his vibro axe. Um, really cool. I'm really excited to look at this. Um, to look at this figure and set him up and everything. So, there's his vibro axe through the package. Um, Kenner in the bottom lot, right, I mean. Um, sweet. So, it gives like a little stat sheet or whatever on the back. He's 1.8 meters. Or the average, the average Gamorrean guard species, or average Gamorrean, I guess. But the average height is 1.8 meters. He has a palace guard. He's Gamorrean. Loyal to Jabba the Hutt and his vibro axe. So some other figures from the line. There's that Lando I just unboxed. Um, the Kenner 1997. And so there's the back of the package. And now that I've seen that, I wonder, I don't recall that, that little stat sheet being on Lando's. Yeah, it's not on Lando's, so that's weird. Well, maybe because that's Collection 1, and this is Collection 2 or something. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, there's this, and I'll be right back with you guys when this guy's unboxed. All right, so here's the Gamorrean Guard. As you can see, he's easy to stand, but there is one little obvious thing about getting him to stand as you can see his his legs when they're fully like out front like that back his right leg is like different I guess or his left leg is different depending on how you want to think about it um one like if you were like his both legs are even right now but if his feet are placed in a different position so he'll fall forward backwards so you have to put his right leg it's a little bit back and he's easy to stand right there so Awesome face detail. I mean, that's like dead on in my opinion, pretty much. I mean, the eyes are a little bit weird, but that's that's pretty much dead on. His armor, everything, very nice, uh, very very nice sculpt, and uh, his uh, little I forget what I don't know what you want to call this. His little uh, whatever this is, the fur, that's uh, a soft plastic, so you can move that a little bit, and his head. All the way around, no up and down though. And here's his uh, vibro axe. Very cool. Not too much detail, but you can see a little bit of wear on that axe head. So they put some lines and a little bit of wear and tear on that. Um, this basically looks like just a regular wooden handle. Not too much. Um, not much. Not much to this uh, a vibro axe, but his right hand. Or, yeah, his right hand is closed, so you can't put anything in that. But his left hand is open, so you can put it in there. And so that works out nice. So, yeah, I really like this figure. Um, of course, you're just basic movements. Um, but, yeah, again, and you have to have that right leg a little bit back, and he stands up just fine. So this, this is really nice. I really like these two figures. So that's two more. Figures in my original trilogy shelf. I'm really excited about that. So there's a little side by side of them guys. Um, I'm excited to put these guys up, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys tune in next time for some more action figure reviews. Um, and I do other Star Wars things, such as theories and action figure hunts. Um, so yeah, tune in. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It really shows support and. Helps me out and thank you all for watching again and peace.